billion dollars for the WCA. Arts, crafts, food and fun. Yep, it's that time of year again. Art in the Park returns this weekend. Six on your side's Anna Silvers joining me live in studio with more. Michelle, Art in the Park is a local tradition. The Boise Art Museum has hosted the event for 64 years. And today I met some of the local artists who get their inspiration from right here in Idaho. A Boise tradition that marks the end of summer, Art in the Park. Over 200 artists, two of them being a husband and wife duo. We've been married over 30 years. We live up in Roby Creek and we live in the house we met in looking for something to do together. Started making tile, put it in artwork, ended up where we are now. Inspiration for their work comes from the place they call home. We have stampeding herds of quail all around our house. So I do a lot of quail, a lot of birds. It's all so they can share those creations with others. The amount of support that the Boise Art Museum gets from people through this show, I don't, I think you can measure it. I think it brings people out, it makes people appreciate art, makes them bring it into their own home. It's really a highlight for Boise. Now if you are thinking about heading down there, keep in mind that this is a walk-in event, but there are free shuttles to and from BSU's Brady Garage. There is also free bike parking and this event goes through Sunday. Live in studio, Anna Silvers.